this week, uh, we had a huge victory for Wolfpack. Uh, of course, we're trying to get a convention to pass an amendment. Now every generation of Americans has passed an amendment, except us, we're trying to fix that. We gotta get money out of politics. It would be an enormously important amendment. Uh, now normally you need two thirds of Congress, which is impossible in this incredibly corrupt Congress. So we're calling for a convention of the states. Uh, it's never been done before, but it is in the Constitution, it's Article 5. It can be done, in fact, it was uh, very close to happening on several occasions. Uh, the threat of such a convention helped pass a majority of the amendments that we have today. Well, that threat exists now again, largely and more partly, depending on your interpretation, thanks to Wolfpack. That's wolf-pack.com. Now, we won in the state of Vermont uh, earlier, and uh, boom, earlier this week, California is on the board now. Two down, 32 to go. Well, let me show you some of the floor speeches. Uh, Senator Jackson, who's a great fighter on this issue, she was the head of the committee that it came out of. Now, this is before the vote. Go. And every single one of us in this room understands that in today's world, money has taken over as far too important a product in the whole democratic process. It's time that we reclaim democracy for the people, for the integrity of the future of de democratic nations, and particularly our own, and take heed to what these primarily young people are demanding of us, that we give the people a chance to have their voice heard, uh, heard and their voices will definitely be clear that corporations are not people, and that money should not be and should no longer be considered speech. Now, Senator Jackson uh, led the committee hearing and where it was standing room only. One Wolfpack member after another saying, we need to get money out of politics, we need to get money. And then she said at the end, does anyone dare oppose this resolution? <laughs> Which I loved, okay, pass out of her committee and then you're about to see the final vote in a second. But that's what she was talking about, these young, enthusiastic voters. I, I don't understand how this happens. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, what part do you need me to explain? Why would they do this? This is going against their donors. This is going against their whole, right. the whole system. This is them turning the system no, on its head. No, Why would they a, do this? That's actually a great question, Jimmy. Uh, part of the reason that they're uh, doing it here is because it turns out at the state level, a lot of legislators actually got into this business because they care, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so they're like, yeah, you're right. You have to constantly ask for money, and then people are serving the pe their donors. That sucks. That's not how it should work. I mean, there's a, a woman in Maine that I often talk about. She's a, she runs the local. She doesn't run the local grocery store. She works at it. Works at it. She's uh, she's the cashier. Cashier. Thank you. And so she sees her constituents all the time. She ran her campaign on three hundred bucks. Okay. <laughs> Another guy in New Hampshire ran it on two hundred fifty. So that's one reason because they're actual American citizens who care, right? You could probably buy them if yeah. you want to. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, you don't have to. That's the whole point. Okay. Now, secondly, if you're a state politician, think about this strategically, right? If you want to run for higher office, how are you going to do that? The incumbent has a gazillion dollars because of all the donors they've already built up, mm -hmm. right? Right. So for state politicians, it actually doesn't hurt that much to get money out of politics. That yeah. actually evens the score. So if you're really popular, you could actually win an election. Right now, if you're really popular, it doesn't matter at all because the incumbent's got $10, oh, money, $20 million dollars to crush you with, yeah. right? Okay. So there's, there's a lot of reasons why they'd want to do this, plus 96% of Americans want it. So that also helps a little bit. Now we're going to show you one more speech here. It's from uh, Senator Dissonier, uh, and he's the one who presented this on the floor. And you, when you see HAR1 Gatto at the uh, bottom there, that's because it was brought over from the assembly side, and the person who introduced it in the assembly is Mike Gatto. So now here's the senator. And we all know the influence of money in this building and in our careers, and that money comes from many sources. But our job is to vote on all of our constituents, our overall needs, not just a corporation and not just any particular individual group. What this attempts to do is to restore what this country is about. When Lincoln said this was a country by, of, and for, he said of the people, not of corporations. In this instance, I think it's really important that California become the second state that sends a message to Washington that we think the Supreme Court made a mistake and we intend to change that mistake. Now, look, uh, I said partly due to Wolfpack because, of course, it's a huge contribution by the people who actually introduced the resolutions as Gatto did without our input in the beginning at all, at all, right? And he did it independently. And then, uh, and then all these senators who backed it and gave these great speeches on the floor, et cetera. 
Um, but it also helps that their constituents are clearly on one side and we help demonstrate that, right? So we do it together and I love these guys because they become the new founding fathers and mothers because everybody who gets an amendment is a founding father and mother in some sense. I mean, imagine the people who worked on the 13th, 14th, 15th amendments to, you know, get rid of slavery. Imagine the people who worked on the amendment to give women the ability to vote. I mean, women they, vote. <laughs> Can you believe that, Jimmy? Aren't a lot you of happy? good questions from Jimmy. Super happy. Right. Yeah. Now, aren't you glad there was founding fathers and mothers who did that? Yeah, absolutely. I yeah. mean, I would rather be making a sandwich, but voting's fun too. <laughs> voting's fun too. So, and that's how we perfect the union. So now, th that, those were the speeches ahead of time. Then we have the vote. Let's see how the vote goes. Ayes 23, noes 11. That resolution is adopted. Colleagues returning to speech. <laughs> Members of the public, we appreciate your enthusiasm. <laughs> we got a lot of work to do. So, uh, for those of you happy with the results, we ask that you celebrate outside. I need you to stop lizard. that party attitude. <laughs> <laughs> well, they Lucas, did not. Get out of that tree. <laughs> <laughs> they did go outside and celebrate. Uh, you're not supposed to applaud, but obviously they couldn't contain themselves there. Yeah. A resounding victory, and uh, California is on the board now. And when they did go outside, uh, they met someone you might recognize. So let's show you a picture of uh, part of their celebration outside. Oh, look at that, George Takai in the <laughs> building, <laughs> yay! Wow. So those are all Wolfpack people? Yep. This wow. This is bananas. And that's this just so on crazy. a random Monday. I went on a Thursday and I can tell you that there's normally no applause, no, <laughs> you know, uh -huh. no big celebration. And then this meme came out. Uh, on Monday when those folks showed up, they did actually uh, get excited. Wolfpack boldly goes where no legislation has gone before, and George Sakai supports campaign finance reform. Hmm. Dang! Yeah, cool. yeah, I recognize All of a sudden. The, there you the go. The last time I got this excited was when Occupy Wall Street came out, right? And, mm -hmm. and the big problem with Occupy Wall Street was they had so many different issues that they wanted to address at the same time. But with Wolfpack, the mission is so clear and so simple and it's so exciting to see that, you know, we talk about TYT Army being so strong, usually they help us run our show. Now they're going to help us run the country. Oh. Damn! Damn. Sorry, <laughs> elbows for everybody. We'll see, get it on. And in fact, I interviewed the California state leader for Wolfpack, Allison Arson. We're going to put that up on TYT interview soon. And uh, she, she'd never seen the Young Turks. She went to find who's helping on campaign finance reform because she figured, oh my God, that's the central issue. And when she did, she went, she went to wolf-pack.com. She's like, Oh, they have a plan. It's absolutely clear. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely logical. I can see how this would unfold. And then she made it unfold. <laughs>